Right now, after a young child is killed, family and friends gather to remember a young life cut short. Investigators have charged Michael Patino with abusing and assaulting his girlfriend's six-year-old son. The boy later died. And while Patino sits in jail, family members continue to mourn. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Duprato has been covering this story all day. He's live in Cranston with tonight's new details. Well, this is the complex where the boy lived and his short life ended. Tonight, friends and even strangers gathered here to light candles on this patch of grass where six-year-old Marco Nieves used to play. Outside Marco Nieves' bedroom window at the Riverbend complex, they gather to light candles and remember the life of the six-year-old boy. It's sad because he was beautiful. He was a doll, and he was a real, real good boy. just makes me feel sad that somebody else could have died, and I've still got my kid. Just thank God that I have mine. And even those who did not know Marco stopped. I live in the area, and I was driving by, and I said something serious must have happened, so I stopped, and then we found out this little boy, um, what happened to him. 27-year-old Michael Patino arrested after the boy's death on Sunday and was in court Monday facing charges of felony assault and child abuse. Patino, though, has not been charged with murder. He just walks in, like, with a swag, like, the heck, like, he's not ashamed what he did. He murdered somebody. Marco's family says he was playing at the apartment Saturday night when he tripped over his half-sister, who is Patino's daughter. Patino apparently became so enraged he beat Marco, who was then put to bed and never woke up. Happy. Good boy. Very good boy. Riding his bike every day. Now we're not going to see him. And tonight, Patino is being held on $250,000 at the ACI on charges of child abuse and felony assault. The investigation is ongoing, and police say murder charges could be filed at any time. Live tonight in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.